It's only a matter of time. Vasquez will come back for you. Okay. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Redriver 2. This time I am doing something special, and that is I have replaced the Redriver 2 files with the demo files. Currently, um, as of recently, the game has become a lot more stable on them and can now be played on Havana. So I'm just going to do some stuff on Havana and, and enjoy. <laughs> Nothing different here. Just tail this guy. Nice and easy. Hang back. So yeah, I'm only going to be playing on Havana because in the demo versions of Driver 2, we only got the Havana level file, sadly. So we'll never get to see the other ones, probably. Currently on the Euro demo, Euro demo version of Havana, which is 1.6 Alpha. But I'll be using 1.7 a little bit because it has um, models that 1.6 doesn't have to prevent the game from crashing on a few missions. 1.6 is more stable, however. 1.7 currently has two areas that crash the game, which is the lockup, where the lockup is at, another cover, and the ferry. Those two areas will crash in 1.7 alpha demo, which is the NTSC demo, standalone demo. While the Euro demo has no issues at all. Well, sort of. Undercover doesn't fully work, but everything else does. Mission-wise, nothing's really be different, but appearance-wise, things are different. Okay. Now I'm going to switch to 1.7 demo because the model I was mentioning that's missing is actually the box truck car vehicle in general. It is not in the 1.6 demo. It is in the 1.7 demo, however. So I'll be I'll we'll be right back once when I switch to 1.7. Alright, we're now on 1.7 demo, and we're going to resume undercover. Please note that hijack the truck, stop the truck, and escape the Brazilians cannot be finished quite yet because of the areas that currently crash on 1.7. However, 1.7 is required as the box truck model can only be spawned on those missions due to the fact that uh, the model doesn't exist on 1.6 Euro demos level file. Anyways, with that in mind, we're going to resume regardless. Rossman pumps 12 gauges, steel tips, plastic man, bang man, those trucks are fragile. So hook this. Oh, that reminds me, I had to do one other thing for hijack the truck, and that was to go into the mission script and actually change the pickup truck traffic car model to something else because the tra pickup truck model also does not exist in both 1.6 and 7's uh, vehicle models.
with the pedestrians, what you're seeing is that whenever they try to sprint away, their animation seems slightly broken. As I mentioned before, sadly, however, this mission is not completable yet with the 1.7 demo. As we need the area not to crash the game first, which is up here up ahead. I'll still get there and crash the game just to show you. 1.6, you can't even play the mission since this box truck model doesn't exist. The mission, the game is going to crash here soon. Or not. Hmm. Odd. This dude's gonna end up killing me. I need to get away. Oh, he, okay, you died good. Now, pressing the button might crash the game, so. Also, the blue car's already spawned in. We're gonna have to press it regardless, though. It did not crash the game. How about that? <laughs> Next mission. I was not expecting to actually be able to beat the mission. Next wagon's heavy with the jelly. Take it out before it gets across town. This mission might crash, though. We shall see. I said that last about last mission, but I was able to beat it. I don't know why. Oh. Uh. Uh. It is possible the areas have been fixed, and I was not aware. Which is great, if that's the case, and everything I said before can be, uh, ignored. I did not test this before recording. I had tested it before, but it's possible it has already been patched and fixed for 1.7. Or I could just got lucky in the game just decided not to crash, it's unknown. This is being annoying. Not all demo files sadly work. Like for example, um, we can't use demo mission scripts, not that you'd want to use them anyways, they're lacking a lot of uh, stuff. And then, I don't, um, actually I can't really think of what else. But yeah, they're, they're the missions are missing missions, and on top of that, the scripts just don't work, and then the music, no, not music, the sounds don't work either. They used to, but, no, the sounds do work, but um, if a sound is missing, it crashes the game, such as getting out of the car and footsteps, so it's not worth using right now. You can, however, use vanilla uh, retails sounds with no problem still. may not have to use 1.6 at all after all. I was going to because of the areas I knew that crashed the game, but it seems like they may have been fixed. Which means I'll actually be able to do all of Undercover.
I'll do some ticket ride and driving game stuff too. I don't know if I'll include this all in one video or not, or if I'll put split into multiple parts. Even though there's no button here and the door's not here, this mission script switch is still here. Next mission is find the clue. Here's the buzz data. Four cars, and one of them's got the file. That puts a face and a place to Rosanna Soto. Find the cars before the city swallows them. The cloudy skybox is a little bit different. It's brighter, I think, than the find retail versions. That's another file. I'm also using the driver to demo text file and the and the um, skyboxes. I messed up. I forgot that the find the clue AI does not work very good on the demo level files, and that is because the junctions are flagged differently, making the car having a tough time detecting that they're there. So that it just ends up doing 180s a bunch. But currently it's only driving back and forth on the same road because it can't tell where it needs to go. As the junctions for them, for in their case, the junctions don't even exist so they think it's a dead end is basically what they see. So that's why they keep dri lights driving back and forth. He eventually will figure it out though and get out after a while, but usually not until he spawned them. There you go, you figured it out finally. Sort of. Now nah, he's going the wrong way again. I'm actually having trouble predicting where he's going to go since he doesn't even know where he's supposed to go himself. don't really have anything to say at the moment. <laughs> oh no. 
I'm stuck. You can't be serious. Help. I have to restart the mission. Here's the buzz scanner. Also, it seems like the um, reflective light particles are broken because they're just squares when it's raining. Or, yeah. I guess or wet, but it probably isn't supposed to be wet. Why? Because it doesn't start raining until after this mission. It's just cloudy right now. The demo text isn't much different from the final, but it's still weird to see the slightly different font that was used. Catching up. Please, car. Come back here. You missed your turn. Still no file, try the next car. That was a good hit. I think the car keeps thinking the junctions are like a four-way. It keeps trying to turn where a road would go this way, but there is no road there. Because, I, again, I think the junctions are flagged differently, so... It either doesn't detect the junctions there at all, or it thinks there's a junction that can lead to a road that's not actually there. Or a road on the junction that's not actually there. This cop car is almost dead. 
I'm probably switching back to 1.6 for the next two missions so that way I can actually do them. This road is completely broken in retail. Traffic doesn't drive on it right. It's even broken still here in the demo because the cars here AI stopped working was when they get to this corner. They do that in retail too, but cars at least spawn, drive on the right side of the road and spawn on the right side of the road, unlike the retail. The cars glitch. That entire road's completely glitched in retail, and they use it like a one-way road, sort of. And then, in, and then in pre-release, it's even worse. Chunks of the road are actually missing. You can fall out of the map. Well, that's the end of that mission. Well done. You found the file. And now we're going to switch to 1.6 for the next two missions. And I have a reason why. The good news is the si my undercover save progress is actually global across all different versions of Rejabra 2 I have. Back to 1.6 now. We're gonna load up where we left off. We'll be on Escape to Ferry now. The colors on this car is actually broken. The textures were too, but I corrected them for my personal use. I bet the colors are broken because the damage colors are slightly off from the clean ones. The colors for damage and clean has to be exactly the same. All the colors it uses. All 16 need to be the same, otherwise the damage textures will be broken if they don't match the clean textures colors. This car isn't the greatest. I can't even get away from them. No. They're almost dead though. Suspect's car is heavily... Oh, yeah, it really is heavily damaged. I'm dead. I thought they were almost dead, and they still destroyed my car way sooner. So, I, I don't know if I'm... Am I already above the batter percentage? For, or did I hit something to put myself above it? Must have hit something that put me above it because they're not even pushing my bumper now anymore. What is that? It's an untextured. Those things are untextured on the back side of that. that. I don't know if that's normal or not. Oh, now I'm about batter percentage. I must have scared too many pedestrians. Before we do the jump. Also, look, the road's a lot further out in this version. In the demo versions. Because the scripted cars are on the... Off the road over there, which means they... Move this entire thing closer to the... Highway. But this is not the reason why I paused the game. I paused the game because I'm activating a cheat, cheat real quick in my cheat engine. Okay. There is no fairy. 
The cheat I activated was to lock my damage value, so that way I wouldn't take any more damage. I also turned off the black screen of death, just in case. But yeah, we beat the mission. Next mission. This is why I use 1.6. 1.6 has water, solid water tiles you can drive on. So I am not underneath the map. I forgot to uh, change that. So I'll restart real quick. There we go. Once when I get out of here, I'll unlock the damage. So I'll take damage again. There we go. Also, the Dawn and Dusk Skybox is an unused uh, cut skybox that was placeholder for both Dawn and Dusk, but it's still a pretty looking skybox that never made it to the final game. All the other skyboxes are actually the same as the final, they just lack detail that the retail versions have. So they're more just empty sky of less background scenery. There's also no nighttime level file in the demo, so we don't have proper nighttime textures for our level file. Although, thinking about it now, we could probably re actually, in theory, restore some of the textures using retail, since a lot of the textures are the same. By using the same method I do to replace uh, textures in retail version. We can use it for the demo and actually add some nighttime textures to the demo level file for the buildings. Since they'll be lit up They'll be lit up bright like it's still daytime, since we're actually using a daytime level file for nighttime. Dawn and Dusk, however, do just simply use daytime still, but have lighting effect. Lighting affected by them from the Dawn and Dusk effect. Nighttime's the only thing that's unique that uses its own level file. After this mission, I'll switch back to 1.7, and we shouldn't have to switch anymore. Which means you have to say goodbye to the water. Water texture ground. Because that doesn't exist in 1.7. They took it away already, but by then, three days later of that one NTSC release from the Euro demo release. Man, I'm hitting everything. My driving sucks. Also, the docks area here is way different in between the two versions. There isn't even a crane or a boat over here. You'll see that when we switch over to 1.7 now, though. You'll also see the ugly daytime buildings since there is no nighttime level. Alright, back once more onto the NTSC 1.7 Alpha demo level file. We shouldn't have to switch no more, hopefully. Again, no night level night no night level file exists on the demo, so we have to deal with the daytime level file. Some textures are affected by nighttime lighting, however. Also, this boat and crane is not present on the 1.6 alpha. The, the crane's textures were also missing on 1.6 alpha. Also, here's something I noticed when playing around on demo level files, and that is a lot of the light setup for vehicles are actually still never got updated and reflections lazily didn't bother touching it. So that's the reason why the Bel Air lights are so off in retail, because they're still using the positioning for the demo models before they change the models a, a, like, a bit. 
They are wrecking me up badly. Then again, I hit a lot of stuff too. Actually, yeah, I can. So most textures could be nighttime textured if the tex if their textures are the same as their uh, retail counterparts. But some textures may not be able to be changed because they're not the same. Actually, no, everything could be just with the simple trick of uh, photo editing magic. We could darken the textures and make nighttime looking textures. But. That's for another time. Not that I, I then I'm just like, what's the point? Because it's the demo version. I don't know. Next mission, we're now on. Oh, okay. So this mission will not work because there's no Jericho model in the demos. First mission that doesn't work, and probably I think it's gonna be the only one. Thankfully, starting the game back up now, and I'll see you there. All right, back in the game, and we just discovered that Tail Jericho does not work because the Jericho's model does not exist in the demo level files, and I completely forgot about that. Thankfully, that's the only mission his model is used in Havana. Also, if you're wondering about the school bus, the school bus is texture, or not the school bus, transit bus. The transit bus's textures were not made yet, but the model does exist. So thankfully, because of that, uh, the mission is playable. Because you only need the model to be able to play the missions. The textures don't matter. And this is what I meant about the lights not being updated when they change the model. Notice how perfectly the lights line up on the Bel Air, not on the demos, but on the retros, they're too low because the are too high because they ended up um they ended up making the models lower to the ground or maybe they reduced the size slightly I don't really know which of the two it how they did it these in this wall tech these barrier textures here are unique they're not in retail I'm pretty sure Come on, Jericho. It's odd, a lot of the retail chases from the original Driver 2 seem to still work pretty well. Oh, I spoke too soon. Literally as I was saying that. Uh, let's restart. I want a proper way to take him down. No cheating. Also, the blue and gray color scheme are actually flipped in the demo version for this car. Here the lights are actually too low, although I think that's because we're actually using the retail LCF file, which is where the light position goes. We're not using the demos. We can't use the demos because the car handling was too different back then. And if we try using it on Redriver 2, it will. Okay, now, I, sp I really did spoke too soon. These recordings are broken too. Every recording is broken regardless if you use custom ones or original ones. I'll try one more time. This is also the only car in Havana that has black windows. Meaning that it was already planned to make windows black. They just haven't gotten around to every car yet. I find it crazy that they could, they could make such good looking cars with only 16 different colors.
he's not slowing down. I'm honestly surprised how well the recordings work on the demo level files. I guess because the map itself layout wasn't changed like barely at all between retail and final other than a, other than a few extra areas that were removed but the car won't even go there because those areas didn't exist in retail okay recording's broken but I think we're done here I'm done wanting to do this mission for now next mission escape the Brazilians in the last undercover mission Get out of there. Once again, same skybox as when we were on Dusk, but it's used for Dawn too. Because I believe it was a placeholder. One of the two was a placeholder. But yeah, half of the skybox doesn't even have any buildings or land in the background. And that's over here that we're looking at right now. Behind us, the half that does have it. And it's just, yeah. Only one undercover mission cannot be played, and that is because Jericho's model is missing on both level files. And that is Tail Jericho. And as without the say. Take a ride, you do not want to use any model cars that are missing, otherwise you will crash the game. Close the door. Well done. And that is undercover done. I'm going to do take a ride next, and uh, depending how lengthy this is, I may split it into parts for take a ride drive and driving games as well. All right, time for take a ride, or should I do driving games first? Hmm, because I kind of like when I leave take a ride for last. Screw it, we're gonna do driving games next. We're gonna do driving games now, which is what we're doing right now. And we're gonna take a ride last for the finale. For this. There's actually currently a web demo that Soapy did. So if you don't have can't or don't have a way of playing Ring Driver 2, you can at least try it out on the web demo, which can be found uh I forget where. Vortex story is already done. A video on it so if you sub to him you probably already seen it rubber banding He slowed down a lot there, but I took him down. Next under um, next driving game is this quick getaway. I'm gonna switch to driver one music here because a lot of driving games uses nothing but uh, San Francisco night and like Los Angeles day. 
or is it Los Angeles Night? Because technically Los Angeles Day is sort of unused in Driver One, and it takes and the music order is actually after New York Night, because it's sort of like a bonus sort of thing. Waiting for it to plug in. Okay, there we go. It should be now on Driver Two music. Havana Capitolio. There is one thing I forgot to mention. If you try to do this yourself, you will need the app there version currently at the time I record this because the current public alpha release is does not work with the demo level still, but the app fair version it does because it's more updated. Now for one of the interesting things, the tra the Trailblazer gate racing cones were actually green with a white stripe back in the demos. We never could see this for ourselves though because um, we didn't have the Trailblazer files with the when the, with the, any of the demo versions we got. We did get the game mode though and the mission number, but that was it. But the Trailblazer folder and files were missing. But here are the green cones and they have a white stripe on it even. It's interesting because the model still called the green cone in the retail and now you can kind of see why that was because they were originally green at one point. But they changed them to be bright red for some reason. The other cities, the way they have, I tried, okay, what I did was I restored the white stripe and made the cone red still and retail and it actually looks really cool. When I tried adding the right stripe, I was saying this earlier, on the other cities, the model, the way they wrapped it, just didn't work. So I wonder if because of the other cities only using red, they felt like Havana would feel kind of awkward having the only one of green cones with white stripe. So they ended up changing it just to be all white, red, bright red, because they did not change the way the cones wrapped. It still works the same way it does in retail. So I was even able to restore the green texture, but then I realized it'd be kind of cool to have keep it red, but then have the, bring back the white stripes. So I did that, and I liked the way it came out. We just did gate racing necropolis D colon, so we're gonna do a little old him in it now. Okay, that mission seems to still crash for some. Odd unknown reason. Guess we'll be skipping it then. I really don't understand what the cause is, but we're gonna skip that. Old Havana. And now we're on Trailblazer as well, as I didn't mention, but it should be obvious, unless you're not watching. And just listening, which is fine if, if that is the case. Oh, we're back to driver one music again too, because I restarted my game, restarted the game because it crashed on me. In theory, if I did 1.6 in the previous gate racing, maybe it'd work because that area doesn't have any issues in 1.6 at all. 1.7 seems weird. I still don't know what's up and going on with the two areas. Ugh. That was bad. Oh, the collision just really weird here. That's not my fault at all, then. Traffic does not work in this section of the map. Rather, they just don't know where they're going. Interesting 
Are you serious? Oh my gosh. And I thought retail's wall collision was bad, but that area is just completely broken in the demos. Also, pitch for these cones are too low now that, they were, now that the regular cones were adjusted. I don't know what's up with that. And that has nothing to do with the demo level files because I'm still using retail sound effects. After this, I'll switch back to driver one music again. Or two music. What am I saying? Ah. Yeah, that's what I mean by damage textures being broken. The color is off, I think. From the clean ones. It's like this on both the right sides. Front right, grill, and front right, back. Why are those two placed together so close? That's weird. X. So last, second last checkpoint. We'll actually get to see the different looking docks. are two extra blocks added that are not here in retail. They removed two of the blocks. Don't know why it would be more areas to drive around here at the docks, but they removed it for some reason. Maybe they hit some sort of memory limit. I don't know. Now the thing about this next checkpoint is in the retail there's a hill you can drive up and jump over the wall but it's not here in the, the demo versions. They hadn't added it yet. So I'll have to drive back out the way I came in basically to get back out. Yeah there's supposed to be a hill like right here but it's not here in re uh, the, the demo. There we go. Last checkpoint. Or only other checkpoint there is, that is. Old Havana. And it crashed instantly. Odd. That's really odd. So I guess we'll be moving on to the last mode then, which is survival, which is not going to last long for me. I'm just going to tell you that much. The colors are all out of order, actually, now they can run it. Because you're supposed to have brown on here and I'm green instead. To 
Can we lose the cops? Oh god. They all may I found their way out. Curse you, Soapy, and improving their AI. Yeah, that did not last long. Now I'll be moving on to take a ride. Take a ride. Now, any mode or weather's fine. Models you cannot use on 1.6 is the truck, box truck, and the mini. These are the cars you cannot use. On 1.7, it is all the same except for the box truck. The box truck can be used on 1.7 and TSC demo, while Euro demo cannot. So, we could use one of these vehicles. The problem is, is both of these models do not have textures, so they're not that interesting to look at. Let's use the flatbed truck, why not? Not much different from retail other than the windows are gray instead of black. We've pretty much seen all the good spots in Undercover and Driving Games combined. So I guess we will take a look at one last location. And you guys probably know where it's going to be. I don't know if I'm going to stay with this truck, though. I just wanted to use it. Oh, I almost lost him. This truck doesn't even have any back-end tam damage textures, funnily enough. It technically doesn't have a damage model either, I don't think. Or it's so maybe it sort of does, but it's barely any different from clean. I might I'm actually gonna die here. Okay. Yep, we're not using this truck. This truck is too slow. So we're gonna use the car instead for a normal car instead. I'm going to try driving through the lockup area. If it crashes there, then for some reason, outside of Undercover, it... No, because even then I had it crash on me on Undercover. I don't understand why some driving game modes aren't working. Because if I can drive through there here and take a ride, then it's not the areas. It's something with driving games. And Undercover. No, not under cover, just driving games. Oh, game crashed. Unless there's something in that forest that's crashing the game. In 1.7, I don't understand. Back to take a ride once again. Won't go that way this time. I had a feeling it was gonna crash. I just don't understand why it's crashing. Cause I got, I was able to go there and undercover with no issues. I don't get it. I went my gray car. 
the silver. Almost there. I will not be pressing the buttons that are scripted here because they will crash the game. I think the reason why out, the one out here crashes the game is because it tries loading in the mini model, but that vehicle does not, that model does not exist on 1.6 or 1.7's demo. And will, and will indeed crash the game when trying to load it in. So here we are at the Havana Secret Bunker. And believe it or not, this area is um, actually stable in Ridge Driver 2, unlike the original Driver 2 demos. And that is because something of the engine of uh, Driver 2 demo just made this area unstable. Yeah, this area is fully explorable in both 1.6 and 1.7 level files. But the, and there are one little difference on both. One is on 1.7, there is no nothing here. It's just empty. But on 1.6, there is a missile in this room that's located in the center of the room. Alright. We're back in the Havana bunker now. Also, I've had some friends that followed me in, but that doesn't matter. Is he actually finding his... He's actually passing through this. What the heck? Sort of. He's still running into the walls. But the fact that he's actually following me down here is scary. He's still chasing me! Soapy, your AI is scary. Actually, technically, the end game AI just fixed to work properly. Huh? I have to kill them, though, they're in the way. Pretty sure the other one couldn't figure out how to get down here. Nice job. I don't know if I... No, the other one can't see me because of Soapy's height level difference coding. They can't see you from different levels. So he shouldn't be able to see me once or whenever I kill this one down here. Or maybe he can, never mind. I'll have to go back up there and kill him. Or not. His AI is completely confused. That's fine by me. I'm actually, I actually need to be up here. And now for the second secret passage that was cut from the final. This one. It's an on foot path. Too narrow for cars to get right there. And then I didn't show up before, so I, I cut ahead to show where the other tunnel left. But here's where this tunnel leads. It's a quite a wide walk, so I'm going to fast forward it a little bit. Uh, using the end game. It leads all the way back to the freeway. 
This is actually a one-sided wall. You can you can access it, but you can't get back in through it. It's actually really cool in my opinion. And now, that's pretty much everything I can think of that's interesting to show. I imagine there'll be more improvements to this in the future to make less crashing happen. But even as of right now, almost everything works, so it's pretty good. Whoa! What? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> that those textures didn't, the spooling didn't load in right there immediately. But oh well. I guess one last thing to show before I end the video. And this is just another funny animation bug. And that is sitting in chairs wasn't in the game yet, so there was no animation for it. So as you can probably guess, you're about to see something very disturbing. Yeah. And with that, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.